So there's already a lot of cameras over there recording what's going on. I'm not sure what's happening. Obviously, the security are over here. So, I think they've called the police. We are seeing someone killing our, our cars and our person. We are security person, basically. We are security. Hurry up. Can you come very as soon as possible, please? Nine response vehicles. Ten response vehicles. Eleven, twelve. This is a big response. Obviously, um, the situation had to be called in because allegations of an assault took place by security. This is the print of from today, 28th of March, the land registry to state that Red Stromer, the proprietor is Matthew David Brown, who is the owner of the statue. We've also got caught in that. We've exercised the common law right of recapture, the video which is taking his property back. This is the evidence of the matter that's being dealt with in court, in the High Court, dated the 28th of March. So this is being dealt with civilly. So the only crime that's been committed is the theft of the property in the first instance. Where are the security staff that were here initially? I need to see to them. This shows all the laws of, of everything. Terrorism, uh, the fraud act, fraud act. Mm. everything okay. is in there and it's been documented off this gentleman's video from the last time. It, I, so I can you obviously are, so at the moment Martin. you are criminals because of who you're associated with. Yeah, so by association, you're criminals at this moment in time. Okay. If we have to arrest you under Section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984, that is what we will do, and we will use reasonable force. Any person can do that, yeah? Yes. So that's going to be how it's going to be today. That is the evidence... Do you want me to take this away? Yeah, that is the evidence, that the grounds that we can arrest you for today, okay? OK? So if you don't want to read that and then you act outside of your duty, you are then committing a criminal offence. I can't read this right now. Well, I'm going to tuck it there. Well, and I'm going to read you it later. Need to, what you need well, to do it's, then it's is you need to stand I'm aside saying. and you need to not get involved in the matter until you've read the paperwork. Any officer that hasn't read that paperwork then goes in feet first and tries arresting people. That is going to be a criminal offence under the Terrorism Act 2000. Everything is there, it's highlighted for you. Just go and look at the terrorism app. Okay, mate, I'll yeah? read about it. And then go and have a look at his video, okay? okay. I want to thank you for your uh, professionalism. Thank, thank you. you. I just want to take your number for reference. Uh, oh, I'm calling me, yeah, 14703 for you. It's there as well if you want it. Thank you very much thank for that. Much. Take care, all the best. There were many video cameras recording on this day, including Laura Nina, Harve, and a few others also live streaming as events unfolded. To watch their video recording of events on this day, their social media channels are also in the video description below. Now then, there's a question about live streaming. I just want to address this. If people take matters into their own hands and there's a camera around, they need to understand this is a non-violent direct action. So any person, man or woman, who's acting unlawfully, well really, you need to reconsider your actions and how they come across. Because this was advised at the very beginning, it's a non-violent direct action. And in order to throw a punch at somebody, you'd have to justify the reason why you throw a punch. It's also fair to point out that people came from far and wide and not everybody knows everybody. And it's at times like this that people need to come together and work together. Otherwise, it's not going to help matters. I will now provide you with highlights of the day, including the visit to St Mary's Police Station, where some people tried to provide witness statements, but Derbyshire Police decided that they was not interested. Two-tier policing? or just unlawfulness and stupidity by some of the officers, as captured on camera, outside their heavily fortified police station. Yes, you do. No one's coming out to speak to you, so you need to go home. What? Why are they not Says coming out who? to speak? Says what authority? What authority tells me to go you? home? What's your name and number, please? 15015. 15015. What's yours, please? OK, so these are ignorant police officers. What's your name, please? March 31st, 2024. Spondon. England, Derbyshire Police received an emergency phone call. We are seeing someone killing our, our cars and our person. We are security person, basically. We are security. Hurry up. Can you come very as soon as possible, please? Was this an overreaction from Derbyshire Police? I think not, and I base this on the following facts. 
If it is stated to any police force that a large group of men and women allegedly start attacking the security in a house they are contracted to protect, and as you have witnessed, alleging that they are killing their brother, then this massive police response will be deemed proportionate based on the emergency call. This all appears to be a direct reaction from people who travelled from all around the country based on what appears to have been identified in last week's video. The video highlighted that Derbyshire police appear to have organised a civil sting operation to repossess a man's home. Links are available in the video description for the full video to watch for more context. And this video has now reached over 100,000 views and still rising. How did this day start? Well, it started like this. What's happening today? We're taking a man's castle back that was illegally taken off him. That's right. the end. But that's all we've got here to do. We're peaceful. We're just coming back to take his castle. Non-violent direct action, apparently. Oh, that is exactly what it is. Non-violent direct action. There's no weapons. Nobody's come for a fight. <laughs> I mean, it's all points down to dodgy paperwork and the banks not answering questions. Well, I believe that this is in court on Tuesday. I do believe that myself. King's Bench, apparently. So. If on Tuesday, why are they in his house now if this is supposed to be happening on Tuesday? Yeah, it looks like a pincer action is going on now. Yep. Some gone left, some gone right, so yeah. let's uh, go and find out what's happening, shall we? I'll leave you to it, Mark. Right, good luck today. I'll you in a bit. Thank you. I'm out of puff already. Shit, I need more puff. <laughs> get rid of the front with I'm going to try and get there, yeah. I was trying to catch up. I need some skates. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't fucking run. <laughs> if only I could run. Right, just keep them from just keep them from getting to the front of the property here. Just form a line, just form a line here. House evictions with dodgy paperwork is not the way forward. Derbyshire police have assisted this originally. They will have to justify their own encounters. It looks like the security now have been asked to move. And the people are taking the property back. This was granted on 28th of March. You need to go. Are you looking at this? Are you looking? No, I can't. You can't walk. I have a dog. I have to put my hair in check. You can't walk. You can wait. Fraud, mate. Fraud. Come to check it over. Simple. Rob. Don't touch. Don't touch. No, not stop. You can't touch me. Okay? You can't touch me. I am not touching you. Nobody is touching you. You are touching me. You should not touch me. So it looks like the security have abandoned their vehicles at the moment. What is clear in the video is that this man was advised more than three times to leave the land. His colleagues appear to have followed the directions of the people, but for some reason or another, this security officer appeared still to be on the land after being directed to leave. 
This is now a police matter for investigation. We are seeing someone killing our, our cars and our person. We are security person, basically. We are security. Hurry up. Can you come very as soon as possible, please? Can you come, please? Yeah, received. Thanks for that. These are the fraudulent security guards, yeah, that are taking English people's homes off them. No, no, we are, we are coming from the government here. We've seen your face. We've seen your face. We've seen his face. These are all doing it unlawfully. Can you come, got please? The paperwork that right, so they're ringing for the police at the moment. Um, looks like there's a lot of people over here, obviously. Move it! 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 Get the car out of here, get the van out! Get 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 out! Move the van. You're a criminal, mate. Move the van. You're a criminal. You want to speak to the police? You want to speak to the police? I want to speak to the police about you. You're a criminal. You stole people's houses. You've stolen houses. You're going to prison. You're stealing houses. You're going to prison. You won't move the van. I don't. You won't move the van. I don't. Keys. I don't. Keys now. Keys now. I don't know. You've got a key. Who else? Is it him? Get him. Get him. It's like this man doing the van. Which one are you going to get? You said I don't know. I don't know. get the keys, Alani Kasmi, you haven't got a key. Alani Kasmi, you haven't got a key. Alani Kasmi, you haven't got a key. So what they're trying to do is find somebody with the keys to the van. I think they're moving the van. They've got the van on the roll. Looks like they're moving it. Oh, they can't. Steering locks, come on. Steering locks, steering locks, come on. Yeah, yeah. If it's on the road, it's fine, I suppose, as they say. Right, so obviously they couldn't find the keys for the van, so they just put it on the road. Are you alright? Just here as a media journalist. What's, what's happened? When they were bidding me. What's happened? What's happened? What what has happened here? This guy's beat me up. Did they? Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Where, where was you? What, sorry. Why, why was not? Where, where are your here? colleagues? They're here. They can't do anything. They're having fifteen men. Well, um, I'd recommend you call the police. I called the police already. Yeah. Yeah. Have you not got the keys? Because we can't leave it in the middle of the road. 
इधर आओ यार एक मिनट तो बंदा मेरे पास भी आओ पहले क्या कर क्या कह रहे हो इधर बन गए वहां पे उन्होंने तीन बंदे ने पकड़ा ले काले ने उधर पकड़ा ले मैंने उसको दूसरे को उधर भेजा बस इधर खोज किया जी नो जो यार जी नो द कीज आर आई जस्ट नीड द कीज नो वी डोंट हैव द कीज यू डोंट नो वेयर द कीज आर जी यू डोंट नो वेयर द कीज आर डू यू नो नोबडी नोस वेयर द कीज आर So it looks like the people are moving the uh, security vehicles because the security can't find the keys. Hey, is that security in there? No. So I'm oh, all right. Okay. ब्रोक Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. We've got all that is all the laws that they've broke. Yeah, there's over 10, 12 laws that they've broke. Yeah, this is yours as well, because you're doing as you're told. Don't do as you're told. Use your own mind. Can I just ask you, what's these documents you've got? So these documents is uh, we've written the uh, the judge. Um, the judge's name is Smith Casey, uh, and we've sent her all the evidence. Um, after the last video that Bannerman done, um, we gathered all the evidence and they broke so many laws. Uh, the Counterfeiting Act. Um, what else? Um, they broke the Theft Act, 1968. Uh, the Fraud Act, 2006. There's all sorts. Honestly, they, they, they broke all sorts. Of... Have, have the police been informed about these? Did you say? Uh, the courts have. The courts. What about yeah. the police? Well, the police will get informed as soon as they turn up. So you're going to show that documentation to the police? Straight away, we're going to give it to the sergeant, yeah, and make sure he does his due diligence. You, that's a bit of shame. Is said. there a dog in there? Look at the conditions of this dog. Look oh, that's fucking hell. Right. Tiny little space he's got. Atlas 8, number 8. Yeah. yeah. Police uh, doing operation. Are you part of that operation? Uh, no, no, no. I am not opera. My job start when the police operation finish then I am uh, I my my job will be start. Look at So we got we got two dogs in here that security dogs. They look like they're frightened. They are frightened. Awful stink. Can I just advise you hello again. Your no. dogs look like they're frightened. They need they need calming down I think. Can you just You're abusing those dogs. You're abusing those dogs. Right? Hey. Yeah yeah yeah. So obviously the, the dog handle is there, so I'm going to leave that situation. He's got the welfare of the dog to sort out. <laughs> the dog's in a terrible state. Is that the security dog? Yeah, it's nervous. It's all sweating. It's living in its own shit and piss. Don't like it being fed. That dog looks traumatized. For a security dog, it doesn't look like it should be a security dog to me. You're disgusting. Yeah. You should be ashamed. You should not be keeping pets. It does seem like the police will turn up at some point. I think this was the gentleman I spoke to on the other video. He said he wasn't security last time I spoke to him, but obviously he was lying to me. Are you security? No. Are you not to do with this house round the corner? Uh no, we don't know about that. So you don't know anything about it. So you are protecting it for the banks. You're not protecting it for this gentleman and this woman that lives here. Who's it? They they home. I feel this like you know, 
I've asked you earlier, I told you earlier as well, like on 22nd March last Friday, yeah. the, 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 the yeah. police... Yeah. The van now. The, the police, just, the police can't, that, you know, if, if, if there's yeah, some type of document or fake document, the police should know. No, yeah, they not they said they, it's a tactic. They, they did the work as well. So these security look like they don't really know what's happening, to be honest. So they're being educated by somebody. What's really going on? Uh, this gentleman, um, I think he's on the phone to the police. Um, he claims he's been assaulted. Um, and, well, what can I say? I don't know what happened there, if he did. No doubt the police will investigate that if he makes an allegation. Who's got the keys? Who are you phoning? Who are you on the phone to? I don't know. We don't know who you're phoning. Who are you on the phone to? Security. Sorry? One of the guy from security. Who are you on the phone to? One of the guy from the security. Okay, can you ask, find out who's got the key for the van? I said they don't have to keep it. Well, someone's got it. Got it well, you're going to get nicked for illegally parking then, you mug. Can I get it? <laughs> oh, I could fucking fold that nose in half, son. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Can I get it? Yeah, you, you do need to find the keys pretty quickly. You do need to find the keys. Eh? Do we have a Um, At this stage, they probably with all them themselves for fear of... Yeah. What's happened to your foot? I don't know, that That's day. why when you're in work, you're supposed to wear steel toe cap boots for Where's, yeah. you, where's yeah. your shoes? They're taking off my shoes. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I don't think have, so. Have you rung the police? Yeah, yeah. What did the police say to you? Yeah, Are they coming? They'll be, yeah. Okay. Where's your keys? So it looks like the police are on the way. He's informed them that he's been assaulted. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Where's your keys? 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 Where's it looks like what the people wanted to do today has been achieved. Dodgy paperwork seems to be the reason why this is happening. The banks, from what I understand, have ignored Matt and they haven't produced any kind of agreement or contract to say that he owes them any money. Obviously, things like this will materialise if they exist at a later date. But to date, I don't believe the documentation has ever been sent to Matt to prove that he actually owes them any money. And that's, that's the uh, crux of it, that's how it all started. So that's just a brief insight. I'll try and get an interview with Matt once things have settled down. Police are here now. Hey, we need this side off. So we've currently got three or four response vehicles. Some of these police officers. Oh, five response vehicles. Six response vehicles. Seven response vehicles. Eight response vehicles. Nine response vehicles. Ten response vehicles. Eleven, twelve. This is a big response. Obviously, um, the situation had to be called in because allegations of an assault took place by security. Wow, what can I say? They're not interested. Right, please. There's no criminal. There's no crime that's been committed. It's a civil matter. You're here to prevent breach of the peace. You're here under common law. It's a civil matter. This being dealt with currently in the court system. And if I can just interpret this, this is the print off from today, 28th of March, the land registry, to state that Red Shriner, the proprietor, is Matthew David Brown, who is the owner of the statue currently inside the property. We've also got caught with that. We've exercised the common law right of recapture, the video which is taking this property back. This is the evidence of the matter that's being dealt with in court, in the High Court, dated the 28th of March. 
So this is being dealt with civilly. So the only crime that's been committed is the theft of the property in the first instance. And Where are the security staff that were here initially? I need to see them. Security staff. And you've also got liberty of the subject, which is current law. Sorry, so there's no man. Moment. You've got so many people claiming yeah. they're in charge from here. Yeah, so we're know. listening to you, but so yeah, who's in so, charge? So, so, really, oh, Toby, you're talking to you. Okay. Right, so, the security staff. Okay. Uh, Let me make sure they're safe. So that's now my next priority. Okay. We've got all day to Sorry. listen to you, so yeah. this Thank isn't going to get right. rushed. My name's Sergeant Buckland. I'm from Buckland. Ascot Drive Police Station. Okay. Nice to meet you, Toby. Right, let me find security staff. Nice hand gesture, though. That makes a change. So they're going to check on security now for the welfare. I do believe there's an allegation being made by security, and that's why the police have responded. Didn't expect so many numbers, however, based on the description, that's probably why so many numbers have turned up. So I've spoken to one straight away, uh, this chap here. He's alleging that a black male over there. Second, guys. He's yeah. alleging that a black male over there has assaulted him uh, by punching him numerous times. Everyone, this is the, know, the chap who's not got his top on. Yep. He's the words of the assault. So I don't know if he's pointing out who's actually assaulted yes. him or not. He's foot bleeding. He's foot bleeding. Okay. So whilst we're here, so who's the IP again? <laughs> so the chap with no top on. Yeah, and he's, he's alleged else assault. And then the one who's got orange in his foot. He said to me that he's been punched and he's pointed out one person. Okay, do we still have that person here who's committed that? Person? Six seconds. So, okay, Wait, so I think if you're up like that, you can't get another job, seriously. You're up in a pumping already. Why is there so many police officers today? Uh, mainly because of the amount of people that are here, uh, varying information that we've been told. That's all I can really tell you at the minute. My observations, <coughs> I'm gobsmacked today because I think... Oh, you're Mr Bannerman. I think your police response is actually quite friendly. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's friendly. Uh, I haven't seen any any uh, violence from the police. I've seen a, a professional approach. There's no requirement. And I want to thank you for that. You're more than welcome. It's, no, we've, we're impartial. We're here to assess what's happened, deal with any criminal offences. That's all we're doing. Just to let you know. Yeah. This gentleman's quite chatty. He's nice. Yeah. Did you want to just explain what these documents are? <coughs> just for reference. Uh, so I believe you're here because Matt Brown has been unlawfully evicted. Is that correct? Yeah, that is yeah. correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you've... Yeah. Sorry, can I take your badge? Of course you can. 14723. Sorry, it's fallen off there. E -bake That's the one. Right. On the writ of possession 66, we've got in the High Court of Justice, King's Bench Division, Royal of Justice District Registry. Interesting point is, Charles III, by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of our other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, what does that all mean if you're going to put Charles III and Her Majesty's High Court of Justice, dated 7th of December 2023, on the same document? And if you notice here, the writ was issued by the General Office. Oh, Central Office. Can't really see what it says because it's been crossed out and amended to Derby. You cannot alter legal documents. That's fraud. And the fact that there's a date on there, 7th of December 2023, and Her Majesty's High Court of Justice, Her Majesty passed away on the 8th of September 2022. Does this not look a bit odd to you? Because it does to me. And the police seem to think this is a legal document. And the court enforcement officer, well, he claims it is too. Can you see a signature on here by a judge? I can't. So what is it with this wording of Charles III and Her Majesty's court seal? It's not making any sense. When a High Court bailiff requests the assistance of police, Derbyshire police need to realise that assisting a bailiff is not the same as doing the job for them, or any other contractor on scene. Hello, you are right. <laughs> What's going on? Ooh. They're, they're going to steal uh, Matt's ass. Who is? The, well, as you see, we've, we've got the uh, the police that's supposed to be standing here for us, um, and we've got these uh, bailiffs that's, yes. get a nice that's got no shot. ID. None of them's got get ID a, or anything. Get a anything. nice full shot of all of them together. I'm a bit surprised. So, so they've got the Derbyshire Policy Enforcers here, eight, arm, arm in arm, 
with private security. They've got no idea at all. They're not even bailiffs. They've got no right to be here. And they're aiding and abetting them to steal this man's house unlawfully, unlawfully. There's no law. There's no what taking place here is is theft, pure theft. And the people that are being paid. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're paying council tax, stop paying them. Stop paying them because what you're doing is aiding and abetting criminals. The police can sometimes help a bailiff do their job, but this is only allowed if the bailiff is enforcing a high court writ of control, the bailiff applied to the court for a warrant to force entry, and the court agreed the police can attend. Now that's my opinion, Derbyshire Police. What's yours? Derbyshire Police may now need to prove in court that they was authorised by the court to attend. Watch this space because when a police force ignore the law, don't know the law, it would be reasonable deemed wise to keep snouts out. Links for police officers to take into consideration are listed below in the video description. And the reason is because their bosses will not help them comprehend the seriousness of their own actions when they sacrifice their subordinates down the swanee like a toilet flush. Police are therefore restricted to the purpose of observing for breaches of the peace and sometimes impartial mediation in order to help prevent a potential breach of the peace. But from my own experience, impartiality appears to be a hard word for the police to comprehend. Well, we're not here to take sides ultimately, are we? We're here to deal with any criminal offences, prevent the breach of the peace, which was probably alleged initially. That's, that's our involvement, isn't it, at the minute? There's not really much else we can do. It's not for us to say who's in the right and wrong at the minute. So, currently now, the situation is this. The people have the property, the police are here for a, a prevention of the breach of the peace, and so far they're doing a good job. Uh, everybody's got seems to have the right attitude. I think having the right attitude in a situation like this, until they get informed otherwise, is a great way forward. And I think, I think so far, so far, the police have been really good. I just want to say thank you very much, because the sign of professionalism here today, you have to respond, and I know you've responded to an allegation, but it, how do you build back trust in the people who, who dislike the police? How do you build that back? Because a lot of people don't trust the police now. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. How, how, what do you think, first and foremost? I think there's some good police officers, uh, bad practising police officers, how some don't learn from the mistakes, mm -hmm. and that's not being addressed. You only have to look at the press, don't you? The press tell lies. Well, yeah. You know what? They Thank you for your professionalism. That's right. And uh, I've seen professionalism today. Let's keep it that way. Thank you. What would you say then, just finally, to the people watching this who don't trust the police? Uh, everyone's got their own opinions, own experiences. Some people have had very good experiences. I don't deny some people have had bad experiences. We'll just do our best to make sure people have a good experience. So, yes, um, another group of police officers. Well, this is uh, the kind of response you don't expect for a house repossession. Massive response. However, taking someone's property... I've never seen anything like this for a house repossession. But for um, public disturbances, yeah, I suppose that would be reasonable. I would say the response is proportionate, because you don't know what you're dealing with when you get allegations over the phone, do you? Another ignorant copper. But some of these coppers are really good, they've been talking, and I think that's good. It's the way forward. How do you bring back the trust towards police? Well, first, you need friendly faces. And those that don't turn backs on you are a great example of friendly faces. You nearly turned your back on me, didn't you? I just want to say, your professionalism today has been really good. Huh? I just want to compliment you and say thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Right, so Ed, not often he gets thanked. Yeah, <laughs> this is a rarity. I'll be People do trust down. the police, but some don't. I would say the biggest majority don't. You take care, mate, all right? Yes. Yeah. Are you standing down now, officer? No, I don't think they are. I think they're just regrouping. They're uh, planning an uh, attack, I think. Have you seen how many plans there are? Okay. Non-violent direct action was part of a briefing not too far away from this location. At this briefing, it was highlighted that this will be a non-violent direct action to peacefully recapture the home of a fellow man, which originally appears to have both been illegally and unlawfully repossessed several days previously. In what appeared to be a joint operation between the banks, the bailiffs, the security firm, the locksmith and various other third-party contractors all appear to have been led by Derbyshire police. This is not retreat, this is a, a regroup and they're going to plan the next line of action.
Why are you leaving? Do you know? That was a good question. It's a civil matter, that's why. Now that's breaching criminal justice and courts at 2015, section 26. Abuse of police powers and privileges. That is exactly what you've done. If you had a brain and you would go and read that paperwork, you'd understand the crimes that you're committing and what these bailiffs have committed. Anything after that is a lawful act. Yeah, but what we can do, because you're failing to go and look at that evidence and read through it and look at your legislation, your own rules, yeah, you're not even willing to do it. So any action that you, you, you come and do on any of these men and women, yeah, they have got a lawful reason to defend themselves and Matt's property, just to make you aware. Well, it's the Castle okay? Doctrine, isn't it? Exactly. It's the Castle Doctrine, it's got... Yeah. OK, There's, so... We've, just we'll, just we'll to make the number on figures, we've got... I mean, we've got the people on the... I've told it up to 70 people we have here, so there's about 20 people inside the house. Yeah, all the people risk assessment. We, we, oh, so like I say, we're exercising the common law right of the capture, which we're well entitled to do, which that was it, done. That was and this has been dealt with in the civil courts. And it's not the recapture of the house that I have an issue with, yeah. it's the assault that's been assault. alleged. And that will supersede, uh, that's my priority right now. No, but were they... I appreciate that people have turned up and gone, here, read this in six uh, pile of paper. Realistically, am I going to read your sort of project work in sort of... Were they on private property? Within an hour? No, I'm not. So that's, that's going to get dealt with later. And this is your problem. You've got so many people trying to chip in, right? So we've got one of our supervisors going to come down this and he will he will talk to you I, I want to find a peaceful solution to this but equally yeah. I will not allow um, sort of justice to sort of be ignored I'm not allowed, going to allow somebody to be assaulted and for an offender to get away yeah. if that has happened yeah. as I said it's only an alleged allegation right. at this moment in time yeah. Yeah. and we need to look into it we're, we're, we've, everyone was being fully briefed before we come in today it's, yeah. it's strictly non-violent direct action okay. and if there's any violence or oppression then, then they're not welcome okay. well, there's, an, alle there's, we there's an allegation that somebody in your party may have right. not followed your direction well, okay, I, I, but we need to keep an open mind look into yeah. that. What I won't allow is for that suspect to leave here if right. they look to leave, okay? Because we will okay. have nowhere tracing yeah. them and finding who they are. Yeah. Okay, so you understand that. Yes, no, right. yeah. But what you need to do is you need to realise there has been crimes committed already. They've the been ever the the And we can deal with that slow time, sir. We so can deal with that slow time. What is you need to determine the, the theft, was there a crime the committed property. first in the first place for them to be on the property which there was? Yeah. So they had no reason to be on there. Yeah. yeah, right. The house was Matt, Matt has got, that, Matt has got, he's got full, but full, he, he, can, he, can, he can depend, he yeah, can yeah. defend his property. Yeah, but what he's saying, it doesn't give everyone yeah. the right to take the law into their own hands and assault people, so that's, it's, it's understandable, yeah, which is an allegation which he's investigating, which I totally respect. Okay. Right, well, how, do you know the name of the inspector that's coming down? It will be, it's change over time, so it'll be, I'll say it's our reactive inspector, right. so when he gets here, he, he or she will in, introduce himself. Brilliant. All right? Okay, okay. all right, I'll stop. Cheers. Our crime commissioner. Who's the name of your crime commissioner? If you want to research that, sir. A certain woman. Can you not? Can you not just, just tell her? No, I'm not going to name drop. Well, where's the crime commissioner? Why is it not public? Is it not public knowledge? I mean, the, the, the thing is, if your constable doesn't deal with this properly, who is your constable, chief constable? Once uh, again, I can direct you to our website. I'm not going to name that, my supervisors. I will allow the people. Isn't that being? I'll introduce myself. To give the name. Isn't that being obstructive? Though? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. So, so you so have I've spoken to. Once again, I appreciate everyone so you, here claims to be a something important. You're, you've got a badge that you've laminated. It says legal observer. I will leave you to do your observing. All right. I've, 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 Thank you. Please, your badge number. Excuse me, can I take your badge number? Sergeant, 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 Sergeant just badge number, please. I have a collar number. A collar, we take that. It's 3134. Mr. Pedantic, thank you. Buckland, thank yes. you very much. There's an allegation being made of an assault. assault. So they might come in and try and arrest somebody in a minute. Well, I haven't seen anybody assault. No, I haven't seen anything yet. Um, when I say yet, the police haven't started yet, have they? Those yeah. officers asked to leave the house and they left. You've been trying to talk to a sergeant to give me some documentation. What do you want to tell them? So what we want to tell them is um, Mr Brown, Matt, told me that he had this. So he asked me to come along as an observer, which I was happy to do. So a legal observer you are? So I'm illegal and uh, lawful. And lawful. So what, what Matt showed me was this. This is from the High Court, 28th of March. And it shows that he's due to go back in court. And when's it due to go back in court? It's due to go back in court, I believe, on Tuesday. The 2nd? Which, if you say it's the 2nd, I think. It's Is it 2nd of April? Let me just... It's 31st today. OK, I will take your word for it, Mark. I do believe it is. No bits of law, but... Um, 
Oh, it's there on the bottom, isn't it? On the bottom of it. So, there you go. Tuesday, 2nd of April. Right, so on the Tuesday, uh, 2nd of April... Uh, what's that there? There, on the side. Go on. The bottom. Yeah. Yeah, OK. So it's back in court, King's Bench. It's back in court, but what I've also asked for, Matt, before I came out, was could I have a copy of the land registry? It's a, a public document. And what this also should show on it, I go over here. How relevant is this document in this case? Well, the trouble is land registry is only as up to date as when it's updated. So when so, did you get that document? So Matt has given me this today. He also emailed over. Um, but what we've got is, we've got a thing called Liberty of the Subject. And That's Liberty, an interesting document, that. Liberty of the Subject is, is fantastic. So what we've got here... Liberty of Subject 1354. None shall be condemned without due process of law. So the item is that no man of what estate or condition that he shall be put out of land or tenement, nor taken, nor imprisoned, nor disinherited, nor put to death, without being brought in answer by due process of the law. In mortgage cases, there's a due process to take place. And although it's a civil matter, why are the police getting involved? If there's something taking place in the courts that's not been exhausted legally, then houses should not be being repossessed. Guys, you're in the wrong job if you're not going to display your badge, because it needs to be on display. If you've got SIA badges, they need to be on display. Two of the guys have just turned them round because they've been instructed. It's a prosecutable offence under the Private Security Industry Act 2001, Section 9, Subsection 1C, needs to be on display. Subsection 4 is prosecutable. I guess you just don't want to know about it, do you? You just want to break the law yourselves, don't you? Right, I'll leave you with that. I wouldn't be here if Matt didn't have this documentation, but for the fact that he's got an order that says he's due to go back in court, obviously for a court decision and so on, which police should observe. So basically, Mark, uh, Matt has got a process uh, in, in flow and therefore you bring in liberty of the subject. So the police, I do believe, will be potentially kettling people in to try and find out who the um, alleged assailant is. So expect a little bit more to happen here before the end of the day. We always say to people, you've got to keep it peaceful. There must be no violence and so on. I understand that some of the security guards, they've not been showing their SIA badges, so are the police doing checks on that? But I think, um, I think the, the British people just had enough. And that's, that's why this has happened. These are a good, good people, and they're here because a man and his family's house have been taken. And at the moment, it's still going through process, and the police are not trained. You've got the CEO of the police training centre, Andy Marsh, who was offered 10,000 pages of documents on the Avon Somerset Broads. He wouldn't take them. And then two months later, he said, well, there's not enough evidence. And the, the trouble is, if senior police are not doing their job and lower police are not being trained, this is what's going to happen. It might just be worth pointing out that you're not actually part of the security team of the house, are you? I'm not, no. You're actually here with the people today, aren't you? I am, yes. And obviously you brought your dog. What's your dog called? He's called Lockie. Lockie? Lockie is in lock and key. Lock and key. Anyway, I'll leave you to get on with your day, thanks. All right, thank you. I do believe an inspector's on his way. Excellent. Well, At least we'll get to, get to the bottom of something. Yes, right? I'm glad there's no other crime going off in the whole of these Midlands. So there's an next yeah. five up here, is that an armed police? Uh, um, yes, yeah, that's another one there. We've got them just arrived across the road there. So there is one armed response unit up here. Obviously they didn't want to be on camera. The street's currently blocked off. Big, isn't it? Huge. What basin do you think lives there? Oh, no. So, what, okay, how many riot vans have we got? We've got one, 
So I'm just going to do a count now. There's an X5 on response just left the scene. There's a police van there. And there's a, another police van blocking the road. And we've got another police vehicle here. So that's one, two, three, four. How can I count? Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve up to the van, thirteen with this Peugeot. Yes. One. Yeah, this is a police vehicle. So, 13 counties up to this vehicle here. <laughs> 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18 vehicles so far. Another one around the corner, 19 vehicles, including the Peugeot Mart. I do believe there's 19 police vehicle responses here. This is still live, and this is one of our most important bits of law. It's also mentioned in the Bill of Rights. But no man of what estate or condition that he be shall be put out of land or tenement, not taken nor imprisoned without being brought due process. So the due process is still happening. I see. Yeah. So do you see where we're going? I see, yeah. Uh, like I say, that, that's, it's not... Well, so it's, it's not nothing to do with straw man or... Civil. But well, I mean, Free man of the land or anything like someone that. Someone somewhere has authorised. Well, have they? Has someone somewhere? No. Is it a court that's Good authorised question. the bank? At the, at the moment, you've got frauds that are happening that are being sanctioned by the establishment. The frauds are taking place. Police are covering them up, and I'll tell you why. Because if somebody reports fraud, where does it go? Action fraud. Right, and who is action fraud done by? Uh, it's by the Met, isn't it? No, it's, no, 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 no. The Met runs SO15, which human rights, war crime, genocide, crime against humanity, and, yeah, that. We didn't do aggression. Um, it's not to you. That's UK didn't do aggression. They didn't ratify it. So the City of London Police, in particular Bishopsgate, they oversee all fraud. Mm. Now, the City of London Police are overseen and run by the Corporation of London, which is lawyers, it's bankers, it's auditors, it's the courts. So what's happening, the banks are doing, such as bait and switch, they're doing securitization. So they're raising money in shadow banking. What they're then doing, people are, are being defaulted, they're coming in and stealing hundreds of thousands of pounds worth. The biggest cases I know are the Lloyds Banks ones, yeah. which I've been involved in fighting and that included people like Noel Edmonds um, you've got other people Michelle Young Michelle's case could be anything between a billion and four billion and on that one her husband fell out of a um, flat window in central London land on uh, railings but you've got others uh, there's Julia Davies Julia's fraud is probably worth about two billion and that was 700 uh, houses sold. How the other half live eh? <laughs> well, they don't now. Oh, because they don't. Saying and, that the money and the worst, away from worst office officer yeah. is I'm aware of 66 attempted suicides because the police haven't done their job. Mm. But I think, I think what it is, like you said, with fraud, it's sent to actionless fraud, yeah. as I'd say. Actionless fraud. <laughs> actionless fraud. And, um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've got leaked reports that show that Avon Somerset and some of the officers at Thames Valley did a peer review to cover up 11 cases. And the officer in that was then promoted up in the Met. You've also got Lynn Owens, who was at the Met. And Lynn Owens was, was handed 703 forged signatures. So you've got the forgery and counterfeit act. And she did nothing about it. Sorry, I was just seeing what was happening down there. 
So just before I leave you, what's your name and number? Uh, it's PC Baker, 14733. Thank you very much. Right, I do believe things are going to happen now. The police are on the move, as they say. So let's just see what happens. Sitting and listening is off the bat. Me and Is he? Is the inspector coming down? Just can you wear. He is here. Just pack a car um, the way, he's up there somewhere. I think he's still talking. He's going to take my car out of the way. Yeah, 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 cool. Should we step to the side? Might give you a better shot of the house. <laughs> So isn't it interesting how some police officers sometimes can be friendly? But is that just a front? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I would say in this case it's very much a front. Sorry, what was that? Just a front. Yeah. I do I do believe a lot of police officers appease people. But they, they need to take on board that the people are speaking here, not the bosses. It's the people who actually pay their wages. I think the police are going to move in now on the... Allegedly. Allegedly. I hope you feel... Um, so in my area, in my borough, 11% of the... Allegedly, 11% of the council tax money goes to the police. 11%. That's not really much, is it? So where do you think they get the other percentage from? They're uh, masters. <laughs> that and let's, and let's, we now know that police are working for public-private partnership. So they are now privately paid. So obviously the highest paid payer will get the better work. Then let this yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Say, please. Yes, ma'am. Which van? Just, just watch it. He's in reverse. The, the, the drive, the van outside the car, Look. in the middle of the road, has Come got. Um, on, guys. Come on. Has got uh, dogs in there. Okay. Which van is it, ma'am? Uh, it's the security guys who've got the dogs. Well, there you go. Okay. So, and those dogs are just there. I mean, I don't know if you're aware of how badly the last van was keeping them. Um, probably not your priority. Um, you know, because but there are dogs in that van. And there's no one there with them. Uh, very small, they can't even turn around. The last car, the dog couldn't even turn around there. No water, chewing wires are stank. Now, we believe there's dogs in that van as well. So, is there any way we can do something about that? Because there will be. Animal yeah, I can confirm that's, that's happening now. Thank you. I just said that to Yeah, no, it's the navigation someone's taking the kids. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. So it looks like. Stop, stop. What are you doing? Gordon, sign up. Wow. He hasn't even gone on. So the mayor can arrest him. He hasn't even gone on. He Please, it's fine, just just get up on there. It doesn't need to get out of order. That's a salt, is. I was making sure you were in the Yeah, one arrested, one arrested. Just feed him down this We've got lots of witnesses there. Right. We've got lots of witnesses over there. Yeah. Why haven't you asked them? If What's he done? What's he done? He's his face. It's on camera. What's he done? What are you doing, mate? Why are you taking it? He's been arrested for assault. Is he inside? We're not going into full details. He's an adult. Why are you going to full details? Who's the assault? Did you see the assault? Did you see the assault? Are we going on suspicion? Are we going on suspicion? Where are you taking it? Did you wear any? Which one we wear? So it's St Mary's Wall. St Mary's Wall. St Mary's Wall. Who's just been to the Yeah. We have a suspicion that there's animal suffering in the car right now. Are you going to do anything about that, or does an animal not count? 
Is that in the van d yeah. down there? Is yeah. it? Is that the Mercedes van? The one outside the house. Yeah. Okay. I've got uh, I've got a key for that. So in a second. In a second. Right. We are going to arrange for that to be sorted. Just been given it just now. Okay. Right. Okay. Because okay. there's animals in. I really don't like it so close to my face. If I'm honest. We don't like um, you like being here. <laughs> 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 don't keep quiet. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's allowed to do that. Yeah. It's like, she's an adult as well. Let's get this cordon on here. Nobody else passed here at the minute. Yeah. Adult. Everyone supporting Matt. Don't, don't get talking Thank you. So what the, currently the police are doing now is just cordoning this area off, not letting people through. Um, obviously they've made one arrest. And I think once they've got that person in the van, then they'll probably open up the line again. It's quite good for all together. You can beat me up later. I can share these people. <laughs> can all those supporting my police get back? And that's what happened. Why am I not here for None of you were here. You didn't even see nothing. You've got 60 witnesses here. You could have come and asked, yeah? So the lady does have a point. Can you go back, please? Just go back. Thank you, officers. We are here peacefully. This is just aggravating it. Yeah. Can I have the senior officer, can you confirm that you officers are on your oath? Hold on a minute. You swear uh... oath to uphold allegiance to the king. You swear oath to uphold fundamental human rights. May I remind you of ECHR 8. There was a disturbance of the peace here and police did nothing. There is nothing more today happening. There are frauds happening at the City of London. They are hidden under the Home Office counting rules by action fraud. I also have evidence here on Pretty Patel. I was in The Hague, the International Criminal Court in October. Banks are using securitisation. They're using the two, they're doing offences under the 2006 Fraud Act. They're doing bait and switch. I used to advise government on property fraud and money laundering. Do you know what an oath is? Can any officer here quote me their oath? If you do not know the law, you cannot uphold the law. Of the law, if you cannot even quite no, 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 no. Can you hold that for me, please? Officers, we have Laura in front of all these officers. We have evidence. These officers need to uphold the law. Get a picture of them all. I have. I've got all their numbers. And this is a court order from the King's Bench. Are you going to go against the court judge? Right, so all these uh, officers now have been uh, informed information by Trevor. I don't think any of them are really interested in what he has to say. Well, you wouldn't actually be driving. Well, the relevance of what he's saying doesn't seem to be their concern. There is a court order that is in process. Are you going to go against a High Court judge? The case goes back in court on Tuesday. Thank you. You got your eye on me, haven't you? Why? I can't help it if you've got a bad attitude. You shouldn't have been carrying that door, should you? Do you know the actual company who put it there should have been doing it, not you? I do believe you're a good man inside. I do believe you're a good man inside. The uniform seems to turn you into something different. Okay, have a nice day. Right, so it looks like the van's been taken away now. There was a key on scene. Don't know where they got the key from. The police are driving the uh, vehicle away. Just the security car do it for, uh, for reasons unbeknown to myself. Where did you find that key? Uh, I don't know, it was just handed to me by my sergeant. The sergeant had the key all the time. got it from somewhere. Where did you find the van key? Was it in your bottom pocket? Is it short? No, it's, I think it's... Security. To stop it from rolling back. 
So as you can see, the people took back the property, their police, they do know it's a civil matter. But will they be back? Well, they shouldn't be. It's a civil matter. What he needs to do is close the car door and get inside with him. Create your own privacy. You can't speak in public. Shut the door and get in with him then. Sorry, I don't mean to be like that. It's the truth, though. You it's just the truth, right? isn't it? Truth and yeah. But the truth, so help me God. And that's what happens, mate, if you speak the truth, lad. It's going to use the bathroom, and I can't keep standing So it looks like the security now moving the vehicles. Parking like that is uh, illegal. See you later. Hey. So it looks like the police vehicles are all standing down now. Can I just say, professional response today, I think it was proportionate based on multiple phone calls. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I just want to say, obviously, we never usually get a chief inspector and a, an inspector. So, what do you make of this situation? Is it a civil matter and a criminal matter today? I'm not going to get into it. No, on it. Just saying to do what's we've dealt with a bit of front of us, as, as you've said. Like, we're trying to be, obviously, like you say, polite professional, but that's the main bit. Mate. Well, just finally then, before you leave, chief inspector. Yes, buddy. You used to be a, an inspector, didn't you? Oh, yes, mate, yeah. yeah. How, how, how hard is it to get to become chief? <laughs> I'm not going to go into career stuff. You Google it, there's loads of stuff out there about the... Uh... Google it? When Please people say question. Google it, they say, ah, you get it off internet. Don't... I'm not on the internet, mate. I told you all about it. I promise you, there's loads of stuff on there. Well, I just want to say again, it was a professional, I think, response, because you obviously have a civil matter with a criminal matter, and the police didn't actually go in and attack like they did... Well, they didn't really attack last time, did they? They just came in and I got in the way. Well, to be, fair, so well, to be honest, to to they, they dealt with a civil matter, what shouldn't be dealt with. I saw one of your police officers carrying a door. That's the job of the actual yeah. shutter doors company. You know, it's a claimed health and safety issue. But that's the shutter company. Good to meet you, pal, anyway. Continue. I don't think you do like me, really, do you? Inspector? And Chief Inspector? Take care, pal. Have a nice day. Now then, this is interesting. The security van's here. And obviously the security vehicles are here. And this is an interesting place to park. <laughs> is that the home of one of your fellow colleagues? Another one, sorry. Is that one of your co does he live there, one of your colleagues? I don't know. It looks like he does. You're not my, well, should he not know. should he not be at work? Probably. Have a nice day. Two. What's this all about? They park anywhere these days, don't they? The police today, they look like they were doing their job, yeah? Obviously, somebody got hurt. I don't know who it was. I didn't see anything. And whether they're making a false claim or not, we don't know. Uh, I can see that the police are walking along the street now, look. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nobody deserves to get hurt. We, we was all here peacefully. And there's a great turnout of people. It's absolutely amazing. A great turnout of people. And it just goes to show that we're all standing together and we're not going to take this no more. You know, we want to be right with the police because we want the police to be on our side, to serve and protect the public and not to uh, protect the corporation. I want to ask you a question. When you look at me, well, just to take one look at me, do I look like a security officer or a postman? <laughs> A postman. You're not postman. red for starters, unless I'm colour blind, you tell me. Okay. You know what I mean? I, you're not as you're not as jazzy as this lad. Well Put didn't camera in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, you can just I, go stand by. Can I, can I, can I, yeah, it's alright. Can I just say it to you? Can I say it to you? I wore a police officer's uniform, right? Listen, listen, listen. Listen. I don't think you're getting a very good frame here. You're very much in my face. I think you know, I think you know you've actually got hold of my camera there. <laughs> Can I just say to you, I got arrested for wearing a police officer's uniform and they threw out all the charges 18 months later. Why do you think that was, in your opinion? No idea. Wearing a police officer's uniform is not a criminal offence. That's why they threw it out. Yeah. And that's good. It only, can only be done for it if you're doing it for financial gain. Or you're what about, to like, a stripper gram? Yeah. Anyways, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I'd say, let go of my camera next time, but 
you know, you would see me. I want to one. film you two. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Absolute nice pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Take it. Oh, Inspector's back. I'm loving these. These are great. I need them. The crap. When you go for a shit, they fall out. <laughs> when you pull these pants down, they pop out, don't they? I just want to ask you one question. I have heard you say many times this is a civil matter. Could you just confirm for the people watching this, is this a civil matter regarding the house? Regarding the house is a civil matter. Whether the police get called to assist with something, I don't know. Criminal matters I expect police to deal with. Yeah. Anyway, if there's you. a potential breach of the peace, that's probably why they attempt. I right. don't know though, I wasn't there, I can't say for sure. All right, cheers. Thank you. You can't hide behind, I'm just doing my job. We, the people, know exactly what's going on. We know all of your secrets and we are not going to take it anymore. Yeah, the people are awake and that's your biggest fear. That's their biggest fear is the people are awake. And you can see with the numbers today, people have travelled from Kent, Maidstone in Kent. We've got Chester, Liverpool, Sheffield, uh, Grimsby. Jazz, nice one. Uh, a lot of locals from Derby, and uh, it was executed well. It was executed better than how they did it. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we arrived here at about half past one. It's now a quarter to four, and it's all over. Liverpool, Chester, Nottingham, Nottingham Sheffield, Derby, yeah, Sheffield. Sheffield. Mate, this is amazing. It just goes to show that now we're going to get a lot of traction from this. A lot of people now will actually see what's going off. Yeah, me and Matt have exposed the mortgage fraud, uh, along with quite a few other people. There's a lot of videos going around at the minute. Some of them are false, some of them are real. But, you know, I've got first-hand knowledge and so has Matt. And what we've been through is absolutely disgusting, all because we asked the bank some questions. What, how did mm. you start? What question did you ask at first? Uh, can you please provide me with a uh, original copy of... The mortgage contract. Did they ever produce that? Never ever produce that. As you know, yeah, enforcement high court. As you know, that's that's this is me. I'm, 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 this okay. is me. We've, no, we've, 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 we've always been alright, haven't we? No, no. I've always I've, been alright with you. Well, no. But <coughs> I've, I've listened to you, haven't I? I've accepted. I've listened to you. I've accepted. You've listened to me. We've got to the point where if we're doing anything illegally, then. Every day you turn up, you're breaking the law. Breach no, the okay. peace here. Right. You've, we've now informed you of the together, CPS ruling. Listen. You're not doing your due Darren, diligence. Will you just listen to me? I appreciate everything you're saying, but I need to get this wrapped up. We've done subject access requests to them, uh, but they just ignore it. Same as the police. We do everything. Uh, we've been we've been fighting this for the last three three to four years, and these people are criminals. And, it, and I don't think it's the people, I think it's the banks that are making the instructions uh, and they're making us all fight and argue amongst ourselves. It doesn't matter whether you're black, white or alien from space, like we should all be together and we should stand together because we shouldn't be paying to live in this realm. I actually grabbed one of them and said, listen, you're safe. You're not going to get hurt because he was screaming. You're fine. We're not going to hurt you. You're OK. And then and took him out. I've, I feel a little bit sorry for them because they are being used as a weapon against us and we're peaceful, not everybody is. So a message to any of you guys that are being used as a weapon against us, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Matt's got his house back today. Do you yeah. think the police are going to come back and try again what they did last week? Well, I really hope that they don't. I hope that they actually see what's what's what we're standing for. It's not about... It's not about we being you know aggressive or anything like this we're actually spreading the message out that you take our asses and we're going to take them back yeah my neighbor's got my ass at the minute he paid 90 grand for it it's all my property's still in the ass you know they sold it within three days it's disgusting but you know i i don't i don't have no hardship or any any animosity against my neighbor my neighbor's done the thing that he thought that was right yeah, I don't know whether he's been paid or they've they've let him have the ass. I don't know what they've done. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make any assumptions or presumptions over the matter. But at the end of the day, uh, he did what he thought was right. But now he could be involved in a criminal investigation because, you know, the banks never left me. Uh, they never loaned me any money. They never did anything. And then the mortgage company that I did take the mortgage out with, they went into liquidation, sold it on again, and then they sold it on again. It is interesting to note, though, that there's a reason why this is all developed. So in a nutshell, obviously it's very complex, how did it all start? So <clears throat> it's not the case that I've just said, right, I'm not paying my mortgage and I'm not going to work anymore. I've been a busy guy for the last four years. 
uh, trying to expose the corruption and in my findings, especially through the banking and mortgages, like a lot of us have, we've realised that it's not everything's not as it seems with it. Um, so I asked them some questions, I said, which we're allowed to do in any agreement at any time under contract law. You can say, can I just have a look at a few things and ask them a few questions? Now, I submitted a number of questions and they wouldn't answer them. Uh, they refused to answer them. I've, I've put applications into the court for disclosure requests for these questions to be answered. They wouldn't answer them. I got three live applications, two in the county court, one in the King's Bench in Birmingham. Still, I've paid all my fees, ready to be heard. They won't list my applications in the court. So we're still in litigation, we're still in court. And what they did last Friday was unlawful. There was no notice given, they just came to swarm and take the house. I've now got another injunction order uh, through from the King's Bench in the Royal Courts of Justice. But I have given up hope with the courts because I don't trust them and uh, they all need to be stood down and we need to look at it and start again. There's a lot of things that people need to look into because they use it as a security instrument. You create the money through your signature. The banks don't have no money, they never have. Everything that we put in there, i.e. wages, etc., etc., we are gifting the banks our, our energy. That's all it is, it's our energy. It's a promise to pay that one day that you would pay it. And they use their security instrument that you sign and they sell it on the exchanges. I asked to see a copy of the mortgage contract. I did what's called a DSAR, Data Subject Access, Access Request. Uh, and I requested everything that they've got regarding me. So every bit of paper with my name on it. There is no contract. You'd, a contract has to have two signatures, a meeting of the minds, from another man or a woman to another man and woman. There, there is nothing, there's no signature, there's no nothing. All the signature is on the title deed. It gets complicated, but it's securitized, it's sold, it's used as a promissory note, it debits into an account. They don't lend you any money, it's a scam. We can use the post office scandal that's just happened uh, and that makes people aware that these things do go on and all the people that are struggling at the minute, paying their mortgage, they're putting the interest rates up, they've never lent you any money. So challenge it if you can. Uh, don't be scared. If they take your ass, we'll take it back. Simple as that. Did you ever get to see a copy of an agreement of a mortgage? No. There is no mortgage agreement. So the bank acts as a middleman, is that what you're saying? Yeah, but the banks are all fraudulent anyway. They're not, they're not even legitimate companies. And they're all involved with the SWIFT. And the SWIFT, for, online, for, for offshore accounts and stuff like that, these are criminals. It's not the people. We think, just because let, let, they, they try to pass this new law now, where after 31 days, if you don't pay your mortgage, they can repossess your ass. Nuh-uh. Not in this country. Not why I'm here, and not why all those people are here. So anybody that's um, battling these people, or can't afford to pay, we're going to come and stand by you. 100%. They need to stand with us as well. Yes. Yeah. We all need you to now... Have a think about what's going off in this country. Obviously, you can't pay your bills. You can't, you can't afford to feed yourselves. You know, the, the, the country is going to shit and we've got to stop it, all of us. Thank you to everybody that came today to help. Thank you to everybody watching this video. Share it and um, let's send ripples around the country and make the bankers and the police and all the other people that want to do us harm we ain't going to stake it anymore. We're going to stand up and we're going to fight and we're going to win. This is two tier policing. Sit down. If you want to give an account, Sergeant, Sergeant, you just took his word for it. You can give a statement. You took a statement off him and you've arrested someone. You can't, you're not willing to take a statement off me. There's only, there's only three black men here today. So please, powers. That's not enough. You arrest someone. Why should pull with the skin? You arrest just as important. Everyone's jumping in with different people. Sergeant, four. An orderly Sergeant, what does that mean? All right, all right, listen an to me. Asshole. No. Absolute asshole, because you don't do your job properly. Yeah. Yeah, you're an Absolutely asshole. Agree. And Steve, that's your yeah. opinion. Many people yeah. would agree with but you. But you're an asshole. It's all right, it's either you do your job properly. I think, I think, in fairness, you've, you've totally gone outside the jurisdiction. No, it's off someone. You're going to do at the moment. I mean, and he won't take the defense. I'm going to have a go. You're an ass. That's it. He's never taken the freedom off the security. He failed to show his ID, and now he's refusing to give me the same. So that's discrimination. You've discriminated against me by 
uh, getting a witness statement off him to arrest my mate who I was on the drive with at the time, who didn't commit any crime whatsoever, and it will stand up in court that he hasn't committed the crime. But what will happen is you'll be arrested when you make a statement in that courtroom, and I order the judge to remand you in custody. Yeah, because you're a flight risk. That's what you'll be, because you train. What, what, what you, what you disgusting. Could, what you could disgusting. Right, so currently now down at the police station, St Mary's in Derby, um, the security look like they've come down here to make an allegation and uh, probably make a statement. And there's some people also going in to make a statement or even issue some paperwork. Pedest oh, all right, pedestrian entrance. <laughs> pedestrian entrance. Yeah. Can I go in? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Why, why can't I go in? Because it's uh, Oh, right. Well, does the telephone work at the front? It should do. Uh, I'll try it. What, the yellow one? Yeah, the yellow one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, currently outside Derby Police Station, St Mary's, I believe they call it. I do believe the security dog handler is making allegations. And it looks like these are the security vehicles. Yeah. These are the security vehicles that uh, were outside the house. <laughs> so it looks like the dog's just locked in the vehicle for now. No doors open. It appears that those dogs, if there's only one dog in there, or two, have been in that van for at least a couple of hours while they make the statements. Excuse me! How do you actually get in, in touch with somebody? Sorry? How do you actually get in touch with somebody? Is it open? The inquiry office is shut at the minute. So oh, Sunday. right. When is it going to open again? It will be... I want to say Monday, but it's bank holiday, isn't it? So, is there somebody who can come out because they want to see a police officer? They want to see a police officer. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll go back in and say, can someone come out and speak to you? What's your name and number, please? It's uh, Sanders, 15642. Thank you. You weren't at uh, the house earlier, were you? Which, which house is that? I only started Atlas. at 3 o'clock. Oh, you missed, you missed the fun and games. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to go because I've got to... All right, so if you send someone out... So we've served the document, so we had the superintendent come to the incident before. Who's in charge here, Moose Senior? Who's Moose Senior? Hello, buddy. That's been served on your chief constable today, also the Crown Court. All the criminal offences are in there. I'd read it first. Stay back for us. Stay back for us. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay We've taken the house back lawfully today, but someone was arrested. But uh, Max had Matt's permission to go into the property to help him defend his castle, which we were allowed to do. And any people in the community can do that once a crime's been committed. So that's what we've done. So we went back, protected the property. The bailiffs were asked three times to remove themselves from the property. They tried shutting the door, locking themselves in the van, uh, trying to get the phones out to call the police. Um, and, you know, we, we just got them, got them off, the, off the drive. Excuse me, the quick word. We need a police officer's assistance outside. Excuse me. Well, the police are not very helpful. You have to get it on camera because who'd have believed it? Why do they need so much security? What are they frightened of? So we've served the Chief Constable of Derby, um, Rachel Swan, Swan with double N. Uh, she's been notified and also a closed uh, letter to Judge Casey Smith. They've received that. They had 24 hours to, to rebut that statement. Oh, we were going to take the property back. I haven't heard a, a peep. Now, they can turn around and say, well, we don't work on a Saturday, but they're quick enough dragging me into the police station and then into the court on a Saturday morning. Um, so there's obviously people in the building. Right, as you can see, Derbyshire Police Station, they've got big gates around the back and they've got big signs saying private property, no filming on these premises without prior written consent. So how do you get consent? You go in and ask. Hello. Is it an emergency? Do, do you need to speak to somebody before me? 
can I ask you, is Max okay? He's in the cell. Is Max okay? It's almost like the police are just following orders. Of course they are, because they're brought up through the police to take orders off the superiors, no matter what that order is. Now, they're not taught about common law and people's rights and defending property lawfully, and that we can take property back lawfully, because the way they've taken it is criminal. They've used fraudulent documentation, it's been doctored, so, you know, it even clearly states that um, in, which one was it, the Counterfeiting, so Fraudry and Counterfeiting Act. And it clearly states in there, uh, and that's uh, uh, 1981. So it even states in there that you can't doctor, you know, any, any evidence unless it's signed by the judge and the judge confirms, yeah, I altered that, that, that address, I altered that time and I've signed to give my authority. Well, that judge has got no authority, he's not signed it. So I currently have people looking out the window up there and um, they just don't want to come down and speak to somebody. I wonder if I can get a shot under the window. No, they're walking away now. Right, another security van's just turned up. I'm just going to raise a welfare issue regarding... He was there the other day, wasn't he? Yeah. Which way are you going? Are you going there? Yeah, I wonder if they got access to, to dogs. Have you got a second? Do you know your dogs in the other van? They've been, they've been locked up for a long time, they need releasing. Welfare, you need to do a welfare check on your dogs. That other van. You need to do a welfare check. Yeah, you need to do a welfare check on the other dogs. Aggressive there, pal. What's your problem? Passport. Yeah, can you just any IDs? Can you just do a welfare any check IDs? on the other dogs, sir? Can you just do a welfare check on the other dogs? Did he check the welfare when he was assaulting the people down there? So I don't know anything about that. Yeah, you know that. What do I know? Yeah. Oh, man, sort the dogs out, friends. pal. That's a priority now. Sort the dogs out. Your man committed an assault. Just do a welfare check on the dogs. You come on, come here, you fucker, come. Can you just do a welfare check on the dog? So I don't think they want to do a welfare check. It's like a bit of damage on the vehicle there. You know, like they, we were here before them. We were here before them, same incident. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to take statements from. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's all right, we're here yeah. to give some. Right. We're here to make statements. You've got 60 witnesses outside that house. That's, yeah. that's fine, I'm only here for the two chapters. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. The, the officer has taken a statement off one of them right. and arrested one of our friends. Okay. Yeah? We're legitimate constables under the Constitution. Right. You are a corporation. Okay. Now what you're doing is you're assisting these illegal immigrants. Who's yeah? also another oh, corporation. That, Who's honest. also another corporation driving round in vehicles that look like police vehicles. Why it's a massive fraud. You're scumbag. Hey, shoot here. Shoot here for a loss, isn't it? 
This is insane. The footage is epic, though. This is only the start. This boy is it's now starting to go dark. I don't know what time it is. The clocks have gone forwards. The security are still at the site of the police station. We've all been for something to eat and we've come back now. So they've all been here a few hours and there's some people around the back. So just gonna have a brief word and just see what the situation is. <laughs> Keep advising him to do stuff. So you seem to do anything with that. You got him on a leash or anything. You seem to be in power. I seem to be in power. You're in power over this gentleman, nobody else. Is. Not actually. <laughs> oh, is he your boss? Oh, is he your boss? Oh. Oh, well, I don't, listen, fella, I'd be, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to talk to you. I'm, you know, completely respecting your right to do what you're doing. I'm just still here waiting for something. I know you don't want to speak. Don't, don't speak. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, it's my understanding that this house was taken originally unlawfully and illegally and that's why the people have took it back so you're probably not aware of this that's why i'm just letting you know um obviously there's an ongoing investigation or allegation being made which i understand you have to make allegations if it's if it's happened it's happened and hopefully the police will investigate that for you mm -hmm. um but yeah that's why the people went there today um basically just to take the house back so it was nothing personal about the people on there it was the fact that there was trespassing in their opinion that's why they asked them to leave. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. It's trespassing. Okay. There was trespass caused by people who shouldn't have been on the property. Can I just ask you, have you done the welfare check on the dog in the vehicle? He's been in there a long time. Over six and a half hours now. Just gone. It's been recorded. Anyway, just, just do a welfare check if you haven't. It's been a long time for them dogs. Did All right. Did Sorry? Did you die already? Have you done it? Oh, thank They're you. Not me. Sorry? They're not my dogs. Oh, are they not? I thought you had a dog in, in the back of yours. I didn't mind, but I don't know about that, but I did that already when you went for the lunch All right. or dinner break. Whatever. All right, fair enough. Well, thanks for that small interaction. Do you want to say anything to the people watching this? No, not particularly, no. thank you. No. I appreciate Keep your... Watching. Appreciate your <laughs> politeness. It looks like everybody's leaving all at once. Do we know the name of the security fair? People are claiming there's been a private business meeting going on. What's happening? Three points to make a statement. See, what's happened? Nothing's happening. Right? Oh, you need to go home. No, 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 no. You need to answer some questions. You need to answer some questions. You can't kidnap someone and then just start running off. I don't know. Come on, let's talk about hey. it. Come on, boys, come on. Come on. What, what have you got to hide? Come on. I don't need to talk to you. No, yes, you do, because you're public servants. You need to speak to us. I don't need to talk to you. Yes, you do. No one's coming out to speak to you, so you need to go home. What? Why are they not Says coming out who? to speak? Says what authority? What authority tells me and to go home? You? What's your name and number, please? 15105. 15015. And what's yours, please? 15080. Okay, so these are ignorant police officers. What's your names, please? They don't want to speak to anybody and everybody's been waiting just to ask about one or two things, which is reasonable. The police are showing nothing but contempt for people and they're showing bias. There's no impartiality policing here from what I've seen. However, I have congratulated and thanked a few today for the way they've acted. But I think actually now looking back, I think I've been appeased. Okay, let's see what happens. And is that dog still in the van? Yeah, I believe so. So these dogs have been in the back of this van for about six hours now. I'm just estimating a guest there. Hey, security guards. Hey, security for the security. Absolute disgusting. Hey, these are acting as a security firm to protect Remember, we see you in any English house again. We will arrest you under Section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, 1984. Yeah? 
they oh. took a statement off them, they wouldn't take one off me, that's funny that, isn't it? I can't believe the arrogance of these Associated police officers. The Chief of Police, United Kingdom. They're showing nothing but contempt for people now, and it's blatantly obvious. They even do it in front of the camera. Absolute criminal Nazis. Just, just on a final note here, obviously the well, police... They don't, want to, uh, they don't want to take my statement and I was stood uh, right next to Max as soon as we went into the property. Didn't move from his side. I was there all the time, I watched everything. Everything that happened at that house was lawful. Doesn't matter what they think. Someone comes on your property, you can use the Castle Doctrine to, to, to protect your property. They do nothing but, exactly what nothing but ignore you today. Yeah. I, I just, I'm, I'm not shocked now anymore because no, it's becoming the plain obvious. Yeah. And they know the cameras are recording. Yeah. What is shocking me is they don't care. Yeah, because they don't, they can't say anything. Because as soon as they open the mouth, it's the way they treat us. As soon as we open our mouth, we, we, we must have done something. So them trying to justify it, they're just better staying quiet and that's what they're doing. But now what's happened, now they've been notified of all the crimes and at least three police have taken that, that document and said they're going to read it. In there, they're banged to rights, the criminals. So if they still come to work or try and take another property, Derbyshire Police, they, they're complicit. Because it's also notice to, uh, notice to agents, notice to principal, notice to principal, notice to agent. So it has to go up the chain and down the chain. So they haven't got any, any excuse now. Yeah, I, just, I did actually notice that the, there's no impartiality anymore as well. No. And that's what they're supposed to be, impartial. Yeah. But the, the way they spoke, the arrogance just coming out the back of that station, yeah. it's just, it's, well, I don't, I'm speechless. No, that's it. And that, that's why this needs to be an example to everyone. This is the power what the people have got. And if more people stand up, we can start sticking these idiots in handcuffs. And the sooner we do that and march them into the court and we tell them who the authority is, and then that's when this shit show ends. For your own interpretations of what you believe to be right or wrong with the British government and the forces that operate within, feel free to leave a comment and discuss this matter amongst yourselves. Thank you to everybody who's been sending me messages, emails, comments, but now I just have to highlight I've got bookings coming in to go and cover more house evictions in the future, and one is coming up in a matter of days. In the meantime, for more video investigations by the people for the people, click like, subscribe, and then share these videos to help your fellow man and woman realize that the police are not always your friend. If there are any good police officers out there, show the impartiality you're supposed to uphold in line with your oath of attestation and start to question your bosses, for they are the ones using you, the good police officer, to do their dirty work. Is now the time to wake up Check out the links below and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.